And we can now move on to uh, describe the uh, logical structure of this system. And to do that, I'm going to use these associations. And to start with, I'm going to use this association called a directed composition, um, representing the concept that one thing is part of another. So I'm going to click on directed composition, and then on the microwave oven, and then to the lamp. I'm just going to bend that line in the middle just to make it slightly neater. Oops. Slightly fiddly sometimes with eclipse. Um, and then I'm going to replicate that same um, relationship with all of these other blocks. So here we are. I've um, uh, laid out all of my blocks here, and you know you may spend some time tidying up the diagram a little bit, um, you know, moving moving the label around and so on. Um, if the routing, uh, the manual sort of routing, does become painful, you can always um, select one of these lines. And notice down in the properties tab here, one of the the sub tabs is appearance, and there are actually routes. Uh, there are actually mechanisms for auto routing so for example if I make this um, rectilinear that will change its routing there and, and by the way there are options for either the closest distance or avoiding obstruction so that it will do some level of um, auto routing uh, another um, useful thing that you can find is is if you can't see the whole picture you know you can easily zoom in and out and on the uh, Windows machine I'm using, the control for that is either uh, using the keyboard is either using, either using Control Plus, which zooms in, or Control Minus, which zooms out. So you can get a better view. Uh, you may also want to do things like change the width of any objects where the where the, where the titles are not clear. And when you've done that, you've got a diagram which represents the overall logical structure of this system. So, if we, so it's its subsystem and the type of um, equipment or component or software which we typically found within that uh, within the microwave oven.